We are with Wheaton head volleyball coach Stephanie Schmidt following her team's 3-1 victory at home in Kink Arena on Wednesday night against North Park. Coach, your team did really well in many facets of the game, including your hitters with four uh, players over nine kills of your 55 kills total. Just talk a little bit about that aspect of your game tonight. Yeah, I, I really think that's a, a strength of ours in general in most matches, or at least we want it to be. Uh, we feel if we can use everybody often that we're going to be pretty successful. And we're not, um, we're not necessarily the kind of team that has one really dominant hitter, though any of our hitters could be. It's just that we choose to use everybody. And so when we do that, we need everybody to perform. We feel like they really did well tonight. We were led by uh, one of our middles, actually, Ellie, uh, 12 kills, and she hit like over 300, I believe. Colleen with 11, and then um, uh, Audrey and Deb each with 9. So we feel like that's a good match for us if we can be using everybody that much and have good percentages and gives us a really good chance to be competitive. Another aspect in this matchup with North Park that uh, really went well for your team tonight was the defense and the passing game. What were some aspects of that that, that went well and, and, and who contributed uh, for your team in that role? Yeah, uh, so we knew probably the biggest key to beating North Park was going to be the serve and pass game. In general, in volleyball, it's serve and pass. But um, they have several players in the top ten in the conference in aces per set. And we felt like we just, we knew we had to pass well, and we did. Uh, I think we, we were only aced three times, and that's very uncommon for North Park. We felt really good about our serve receive game. Um, yeah, and defensively, I think um, we're using a freshman libero at the moment, and she's just digging really well, Allie High. Uh, and our outsides playing back row have been reading really well and digging really well. So I, we've just really tasked our defense. We've got a lot of defensive players in our gym battling for time. We've really tasked them with trying to make each other better. And so I really think the credit for us defensively is not even just who is on the floor tonight, but overall, like, who we have every day um, because we're setting a tone defensively. I think currently we're leading the conference in um, keeping opponent hitting percentages low and keeping opponent kills low. Uh, so we're just we're playing defense really, really well. I'm super proud of what I'm seeing from our girls. Overall, your team is 9-2, and two, playing well, 2-0 uh, and oh in conference play. What is uh, the, your overall feeling right now for your team is is you're sort of hitting the stride of the season now uh, after 11 matches. What what are your feelings on this team? Uh, they look really good, um, but we're cautiously optimistic. When I say they look really good, we don't think that that means we get to coast, but I think we've got a lot of really good pieces, and they're working really hard, and so we see flashes of great things. I think we're, we're a pretty strong blocking team most of the time. We think our serve is an advantage for us most of the time. And we're usually a pretty decent passing team, too. Um, so, yeah, so I, like we, we've got really high hopes, uh, but we're not naive enough to think that in the CCIW that that would be an easy task. But we feel good about our ability to compete against anybody. Whether we come out on top or not sometimes is out of our control even a little bit, but we know we can compete against almost anybody.